After the preferred emergency food for winter feeding, which is your own bee's honey in combs, one of your choices is fondant. Fondant is available at bakery supplies and also bulk food stores. Sometimes it comes in boxes as large as 50 pounds, and it's hard to separate that into a usable size. You might want 10 or 20 pounds or smaller for a hive or a nuke. Here's a way to use a homemade tool to cut right through the fondant block with almost no effort. This wire cutter was made from some dowels and some very thin wire that we just had sitting around. It's similar to the tool that people that use clay cut their clay with, but you can easily make it on your own in a few minutes. After you remove fondant from its box, it will start to slump. You might be worried about this when you picture laying pieces of it on the top bars. Will it slump down into the cracks and get onto the bees? We did some tests with fondant laying right on the top bars and on some screens. The screens seem to be not necessary because the fondant just lying on the top bars didn't sag down between them much at all. You'll just need a shim or an empty super to give you the extra height needed when you lay on fondant on your top bars. If you have insulation, put that back on above your inner cover. If you use some sort of moisture board, put that back on. And make sure you leave a tiny little hole so that bees and moisture can get in and out. We hope this quick video has been useful to you.